Graffiti has revisited us in every civilization since early man. The ancient Romans, Greeks, Egyptians, they all had some kind of writing, scrolls, hieroglyphics that all equate to the same energy that we call graffiti. All right, I'm Kathleen Howie. I'm Lady K Fever. I started up the Bronx Graffiti Art Gallery to showcase and to preserve graffiti in New York City. So what we're working on is Roman gods and goddesses and a gladiator theme to celebrate Italian culture and history. And so I'm going to be working on this wall here. I'm going to be putting some flowers like capers and also the goddess Diana. Luciamos is beautiful food, beautiful people. I love their pasta. I love their tomatoes. Uh, the best Italian pastries and foods and coffee, you know? Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> Hi, I am Scratch. We are here at the Bronx Graffiti Art Gallery and I'm going to do a Colosseum wall and also with the, of course, with my piece underneath and I think we're going to have a, another very, very well-known artist on top. We're here at the Gassiamo's headquarters in New York City. Uh, they are import fine Italian food. Their coffee is fantastical. And and places like this acknowledge our art and give us a place to put it. Okay, you got to give it up. Okay. My name is King B. I am an artist. I've been an artist for about 20 years. This is the gear I'm going to be painting. I'm um, supporting the Bronx Graffiti Art Gallery. And I'm over here uh, in Gustiamo. Uh, um, Italian food, Italian um, olive oil. Ciao, this is the artist Scheme, 1980s graffiti writer. And I'm here at Piazza Gustiamo who have the best Italian food in the whole Bronx. Grazie. My name is Nicer. I'm one of the founding members of Tats Crew. Uh, I've been painting in New York City since 1980. I started painting on subway trains, and I've been doing it ever since. So it isn't like they're out going to, uh, you know, enlighten these kids by taking them to the MoMA or, you know, museums or galleries there. So in a lot of ways, you know, the stuff that they're seeing in the Guggenheim, this is their Guggenheim. This is their, their art galleries. I applaud uh, Gustiano for, Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, opening its doors because, you know, it's, it shows that, you know, uh, open-minded people have, you know, you know, helped nurture the arts and you know if you had enough people that weren't close-minded and you know did open up their door and give space legal space uh you'll see that there'll, there'll be a lot more color and beauty in the neighborhood oh i did the uh gladiator with the uh, head uh cut off and it it's kind so of the cool. hair spells out my name i love stuff. it oh nice yeah. i got you <laughs> of Taz Crew. The Bronx needs a place like that where artists can come express themselves. It's great the support you know from a local business and you know I think that's what it's about you know nurturing the art form and it's... Here's Once Upon a Time. Uh, just because it looked like a story going on like oh you know it looked like the story was being told so I just started you know give the wall sort of a title to anchor everything together. Yeah so painting here next to Gustiamo, I think it's hot because you know I could actually go in there and look around. You got imported Italian food, you know that's incredible. Like you know, I'm a, I eat Italian food now. I know where to get my stuff at. I think it's fantastic that that you know that you painting in a place that have imported stuff, and I think that's great. I think um you know what else can I say? You know like that. did you um, know the word graffiti is Italian? Oh, look at that. It's an Italian word. Oh, wow. Graffiti means scratch in Italian. Scratching a wall. Yeah, oh, and here we have Scratch herself. At having a Bronx graffiti gallery in the Bronx will represent, you know, the graffiti artist because where the graffiti started in the Bronx. Like, I grew up in this neighborhood, you know, 
actually not too far away from here. So this place has a lot of stuff. You, know, you got the graffiti, you got the break dancers, the, the MC and the DJs. Right across the bridge, you have Bronx River Center. That was the home of base for home of hip hop with African Bambada. So having a place like so close, you know, to you know the people to just to get here would be fantastic. You know, what we need to do is just bring more artists, you know, to come continue coming here to represent and let people know that this place is here to stay and this is how it is. But I, I was interested in creating a place that's about preservation. And this idea that it's a gallery, because a lot of times we paint these walls and they're just another wall that we painted in the neighborhood and we kind of wait to get response on that. So I wanted to, in the first place, start it and see yeah. us who's been so supportive. It's been really great to have like a landlord, a business owner. I'm so lucky to have Scratch by my side, to have Bustiamos with me, and to have Hush Tours with me to kind of talk about this preservation of graffiti writing and what that is. Brooklyn rocks to the planet rock. Don't stop. Queens rocks to the planet rock. Don't stop. Unic rocks to the planet rock. Don't stop. Date rocks to the planet rock. Don't stop.